Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. It is Monday. We have some sales to go over with you guys. Um, you may have noticed we did take a couple days off from videos last week. We also didn't do our live show, so we kind of like took the whole week off. And we just really wanted to take that time and get caught up on a lot of stuff that I feel like was kind of keeping me, uh, not stressed, but just like, I don't know. Things were piling up, like the weeds in the backyard. I took care of some stuff in the garage. Um, Kathy got to go to a, what, like a church yard sale thing? What is that called? Yeah. That was like my only source thing last week because I also was taking care of a bunch of stuff from yeah. here. I was listing stuff from all of my bins that I've been avoiding and stuff. So, <laughs> yeah, I went to a little church rummage show over the weekend and I got that chair. Yeah, um, Kathy got a new, new nice, nice yeah. chair. <laughs> Ever since we moved here, I, you know, that's kind of like what I pictured for the office anyways. Yeah. But like on Amazon, those are like 150, 200 bucks. I'm like, I don't need it that much. <laughs> I've been using like one of our dining chairs because we have plenty of extras. So. Yeah, I got that for 20 bucks. I think at one point you found this one. Yeah. Just... Which that is like the, <laughs> that I don't think that qualifies as a chair. That's more no. of like a torture device. <laughs> it's more of a decoration <laughs> than a name. Yeah. So that church crutch, I love like church rum and normally, yeah. but like I didn't end up getting a super lot of stuff. Maybe some coats and some shoes and a few clothes, maybe like 10 things total to sell. Right. But that was my extent of sourcing for the weekend. So for yeah. the whole last week, really. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna show you guys what sold over the weekend. We're not gonna pack it on camera. I do have to run and, like I gotta go to Costco, get some bins. I got a little bit of running around to do. So we're gonna let Kathy pack it up off camera, get it to the post office, and then I'll take care of all that other stuff. And kids got Taekwondo tonight and stuff like that. So yeah, take it away. All right, <laughs> it's not really in any sort of order, so I'm trying to find my... <laughs> okay, so first up, I sold this Vineyard Vines. Um, this is just one of our kids' old shirts. Um, $16 with discount shipping, so someone accepted the Posture VA offer that went out on that. Since it was our kids, I'm just considering that money back. It's probably no profit at all. I'm sure I paid 10 to 15 originally for that. Okay. This was a cool sale. I found these at the bins. The brand is Woof and Poof. <laughs> Woof and oof? Woof and poof. Poof. Yeah. There's two pillows, right? Yeah. So like at the bins, I've been looking at pillows a lot more, um, obviously for the pillow collection, but so just any pillows are gonna catch my attention. Ugh, there's so much Christmas at the bins. I don't yeah. know what made me look at these. I, just, I think I just thought they were cute. Like, I think it was just, they looked handmade and mm -hmm. stuff. I noticed that they had, yeah, like a, they have a button stitched on them that says the woof and poof brand. Anyways, I looked them up and they seemed good and they did so well. I don't know if you're a viewer, if you are, uh, it doesn't say their actual okay. name, M. <laughs> M. <laughs> Thank you. So the reason I think this could be a viewer, I don't know. This person offered on this and an American Girl doll as like, as like a bundle on Posh a few days ago and mm -hmm. then I accepted. And then I was like, dang it, I sold that all. <laughs> I forgot to delete it off Poshmark. Oh, the American Girl yeah. doll, yeah. And so I had to cancel the order, so I apologized. And then a day or two later, it is the same person okay. just offered on the pillows. So okay. I was happy to accept. But $40 for these two pillows, Wow. which is awesome. And uh, linen pricing at the bins is 40, 49, 69, something like that. Yeah, I think Very 69 cheap. cents. Um, yeah. M, if you are a view, <laughs> viewer, thank you so much for the support. They and didn't say they were, I just, you know, yeah. someone's making a bundle and then after I, basically made a mistake and then still <laughs> doing it. I thought that was nice. I feel like your feelings are usually right. So. <laughs> yeah. And thank you so much for the support. Um, and then I sold this Woolwich. It's like a flannel line. Just, um, I, don't know, I don't know if I'd call it a coat jacket or what, but it is from the bins. It's sold for 21 21 plus ship. So something okay. I's, I've been doing while well, not really sourcing much is still doing sales similars every day. I knew I, I know I just did one on this and then it sold within like a day. So. Basically dropping prices, putting the listing back up, and a yeah. lot of them have been selling, so. Sweet. Um, this, and I'm also selling a lot of things for fairly inexpensive, just a new one like this. It's just a basic Orvis women's button up. It's mm -hmm. over 881 plus it. Okay. It is from the bins. Not the best buy, obviously, but we're still making profit. All these small sales really do add They up, do. So. Um, yeah, and I've added best offer to a lot of items that have been listed at least over 30 days. Not everything, but yeah, stuff like that, that it's not worth a very good amount. I'm mm -hmm. adding best offer. So if you ever want to go check out our store, make me an offer. Um, these are some Merrill sandals from the bin sold for 16 plus shipping. Yeah, this was eBay. 
Okay. My writing is horrible. My DS <laughs> and PS, it's hard to read them. Anyways, 16 plus shipping, so yeah. At least you you know you have everything from the boxes, right? Normally we would be pulling these right from the inventory, like in one of these kind of videos, but we just haven't quite figured out a comfortable way to do that down in the basement at this time, so. Um, this is Dr. Scholl's flip flops from the bin, sold for fourteen forty two plus shipping. Um, this is from the bins. It's not necessarily a brand I'm gonna tell you to pick up. I've never heard of it actually. I bought this for myself, Roz and Allie. Roz and Allie. I did wear this a few times, and then I decided to list it. It's over ten plus shipping. Okay. And this. <laughs> don't know where it is. Hat. There it is. Uh, this is the brand Ex Officio. Little bucket hat. And from the bin, sold for nine plus ships. So those last two items, this one and that one, um, I believe somebody did make an offer on eBay and got like auto accepted. So when I allow offers, I put a minimum amount. So mm -hmm. both of those met at least my minimum amount. So that was cool. Mm -hmm. It was funny because that literally just sold and then we were doing yard work over the weekend and Connor was helping and I was like, man, you need like a little hat like that. But that had already sold something. <laughs> oh. so. I think I have a North Face one in my death pile somewhere if I find it. He can have that one. So. Yeah. You don't have any like little hand gloves, do you? I don't think I have any. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where we could find I mean, those. Not, that, not gardening gloves. Maybe some yeah. winter gloves. Uh, this was our kids' hat when they were little. I finally got it listed. It sold for $9 on Posh someone offered. So I think that's fine. I'm making back six. Um, poo puzzle. <laughs> poo puzzle? This thing is from the bins. It's new, but like a little bit popping open. So I showed that in yeah. the pictures. It still sold fairly quickly. I'd say within 30 days for $17.36. Which it probably didn't even cost that much originally. It was, I'm pretty sure I called it vintage. Yeah, it says 2003 on here. So basically <laughs> just yeah. years. Newly vintage. Yeah. <laughs> Oxymoron. <laughs> funny I took a um, little Bob the Builder thing to Once Upon a Child and they did not accept it it was like a new package so I was like oh they're gonna accept this I forgot Bob the Builder's that old like, <laughs> it's from 2006 so they <laughs> yeah. won't accept anything over 10 years yeah like if it has a date on it so that's why they did not accept it but it's crazy but then I listed it today for 50 and it already has a watcher so wow that might be a cool thing and I'm glad they did not accept it because <laughs> they would have gave me like two bucks so. you're missing out Once Upon yeah. a Child <laughs> <laughs> um this I only picked up at the bins because it was new, DeMarco. It's not necessarily, I don't know the brand. Anyways, new a tag and someone offered 15. It's been listed a few months. I was happy to accept. It's like a little velvet jacket. These are a pair of shorts I got from the bins probably like a year ago, but I only just listed them. I think I put them in the drawer for myself to try on this summer, but I did not like them, so. I listed them. They're not in great shape. They have like a bunch of stretching kind of like in the crotch area. So mm. I listed them pretty low. They did sell within like a day though for $7.91 plus shipping. So making four or five dollars profit there. Yeah. yeah. Um, Meryl Boots. These. I think we showed these in a recent video when I was just out and about thrifting. Um, they're Meryl like kid size boots. I bought them for 10. Someone offered 30 on Posh. I was happy to accept. Woman Within, this is like a nice little, it's like a flannel tunic top. It does have some floral embroidery on it. This is not plus size. Well, it says large, 1820. Woman Within, generally like the bigger two, three, four X. I've done pretty well with it, not for a lot, usually around 20. This still sold for 20, even though it's a smaller size. 20 mm -hmm. with discount shipping, so. Someone accepted the posh review really offer. Okay. I like that brand, I mean, it's, yeah, like I said, not a huge, sell but they yeah. usually it sells consistently and for i think 20 bucks is a good sale for a bins item is it a strictly plus size women uh, or they just also have some plus size stuff yeah i mean i think it's more plus size but okay. since that's large i don't know how right. i don't know if large is the smallest size they make i don't know gotcha um this is 511 tactical just like a snap shirt it's a good brand. from the bins yeah uh 20 with discount shipping as well so posh va offer accepted Ortho feet, these were actually, I listed these late last night and they sold by the time I woke up this morning, which was cool. I made a reel recently um, 
Chris hangs out with his friends on Wednesday night, so I took the boys to just go hiking at Garden of the Gods, and they wanted to get like some frozen yogurt. So I said we will definitely do that, but we're gonna stop in the store store and find something to flip to pay for that yogurt, which these basically covered it. Um, these I bought, make you look really small. Yeah, these are men's fourteen <laughs> six E, so like Jeez. fourteen, like the widest width you can pretty much get in yeah. shoes, I think. Um, but yeah, so these were priced at seventeen dollars, and I still got them because because of the size, mostly the 14 with the 60 yeah i did look at sell through rate like that's a lot to pay i don't like paying 17 dollars for shoes but if it's a high sell through i will and mm -hmm. they did like i said sell in a day 50 dollars 96 cents plus ship so awesome i think it was still like 26 dollars profit after all was said and done which, which is great. ironically was not enough to cover the <laughs> ice cream how oh is God. ice cream is so it was, expensive it was like now 35 bucks but our son, <laughs> our son connor i wasn't paying attention like normally i'll fill up their ice cream part at yeah. least <laughs> And he put, he did like he a whole pour huh? to the top, a and pint. I'm like, I'm gonna pour it out. That's rude. So I let him. Get, his was like fourteen dollars on its own. <laughs> and then like this place, we had invented this one. They scooped the toppings for you, so oh. it's like you couldn't put a little bit of you know they blah however much they wanted. <laughs> Anyways, thirty five bucks. But yeah, these twenty six. I picked up one other item that the Chubby's swim chunks. They have not sold yet, but it should will have covered. Yeah, it the will. Ice cream <laughs> <at some> <laughs> Ugh. I'm just upset with how expensive ice cream I know. is. Like it used to be like five bucks, you could get a pretty good size. I remember <laughs> you could get a, like a gallon tub of ice cream from Walmart for a dollar. I, <laughs> I know it's not good ice cream, but <laughs> man, it's funny because I walked with Connor to this King Supers the other day to get ice cream, and we bought two big tubs, which was still twelve dollars. But I was like, but this was less than your ice cream the other day. <laughs> and it's Blue Bunny, which is like a, a higher quality brand, so. I don't want to completely unfold this, but this is like a Maurice's, just like a nice yeah. thick shacket. Um, from the bin, sold for twenty thirty seven plus ship to a viewer, Christine. That's the couch I want. I want yeah, that look on my couch. This <laughs> for my so. game room. Thank you, Christine. I hope you love yeah, it. Yeah, thank you so much for the support. That'll keep you warm. All right, the this, I... Uh, Rated Chris's closet over the weekend and <laughs> listed probably 15 of his old shirts that he hasn't worn in like a year plus. So yeah, this is one of them. I I mean, at one point he loved Columbia PFG shirts. And so I like bought him a whole bunch. <laughs> so like most of what I, I still like them was Columbia PFG shirts. <laughs> yeah. So anyways, this one sold fast. Uh, 1871 plus ship though. So not great. I probably bought it at Goodwill at some point. So I probably paid like no more than $6 for it. Yeah. And this was from my first reel ever that I made um, when we went thrifting in Woodland Park. It's a Wrangler like pearl snap. It was new at Tag. I paid $8.99 and it sold for $35.23 plus shipping. Wow. Not too bad. And it was a men's small, so um, I think if it was a bigger size, it would have went closer to $50. Sweet. It's a cool pattern. Yeah. All right. These also probably would have sold for more, but I did accept 30 These are born and most born, um, 30. I'm very happy to accept 30. Um, this style though, I've only sold it one other time. I think it's called the Iowa or something, IWA. Hmm. Anyways, the other pair I sold, sold like within a day for like 50 bucks. And those were like a leather one. These are like a macrame. Is that how you say it? But yeah. Yeah. Anyways, they're also a women's six though. So for that reason, I just accepted the 30. They're also a little bit dingy because of the light color. So. I only paid eight dollars for them. Yeah. Thirty dollar offer within just a few days. I thought that was fine. Yeah. Um, but yeah, comps on this style, if you look it up, are pretty good. Like you could probably get closer to fifty for this style. And that was Iowa I W A. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Probably saying it wrong. I'm All sure. Right. <laughs> Um, and then this is just a Deku plaid shirt. I think I bought this hoping that like Uptown Cheapskate would take it. They did not. I listed it. Sold for $16.96 plus ship, so not too bad for just yeah. a basic button up shirt. Um, toilet timer. <laughs> so, <laughs> I just I always buy this random stuff at the bins because it like weighs nothing. And yeah. like this, it sold for $6.76 plus ship, which isn't great, but like this brings down my average cost of goods for everything mm -hmm. and it all sells eventually. And if not, this would be a white elephant gift. Yeah, point. yeah. So, yeah, funny. And it's small enough. It's not really a big impact on your inventory and situation. Like, I mean, less than 10 minutes of work to yeah. make. But just a few bucks, but still. Uh, these are the Earth Gelron sandals from the bin. Sold for $25.46 plus ship. Not too bad. 
these six pans. These I think I'm just breaking even on. I bought these retail arbitrage a while ago for, I think I paid around 10. I finally sent offers down to 13. So 13 mm. plus ships what I got for those. I had multiple at one point. This was the last pair to sell. So I'm sure I made money on the whole situation, but yeah. yeah. Sometimes you're just ready to get your money back. So even though it's not profit, I now have $10 back to spend on bins items to make yeah. more money, so. Um, this is a Patagonia, I think it's called the Soul Patrol, so S-O-L. S-O-L? Yeah. I sure. think that's the name of our son. Oh, yes. Yeah. Right? Is it? I don't know. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> I got this at Uptown Cheapskate, but with, like, credit from Ben's item, so I'm estimating I have about $10 out of pocket into it. It sold for $50.96 at the Nice. Uh, Scooby-Doo, another one of the little bins things that I got just because it was a new attack thing. This probably weighs two ounces. Yeah. So for twelve seventy one plus ship. That's not bad. That's not bad. <laughs> That's not. There's our Scooby-Doo. Aw, what are you doing? You, oh boy. <laughs> you want your bed right there? <laughs> All right, couple more. These Chocos. Guys, I got my first negative feedback on eBay. Well, actually, I got two in the same week. <laughs> but one I think I'll be able to get removed just because she just said my item hasn't arrived yet. Which yeah. is true, but as long as we refund her. Right now, we're just put in a case with the post office. And that will probably, hopefully, get her moving again. If not, worst case, we refund her. I'm sure eBay will take that one mm -hmm. off because it's not our fault that the post office didn't deliver it. Like, I yeah. did. I sent it out on time. I did all the things right. As What's the time time. limit? Because that one, it's not... It's going to Guam, so it's taking right. a while because it's going by boat. Yeah. <laughs> and it's estimated a month from now. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Which it's already seeming like it's been a while. So what's the time that um, we have to contact eBay to try to get feedback yeah, off? Is it 90 30, days? I think it's 30, so we might have oh, to. Oh, shoot, yeah. I mean, this kind of happened with a thing going to Hawaii recently where... It yeah, just it got, just like, missing. I think this because we're doing ground advantage. Obviously, if it's going by boat, that's yeah. going to take a while. Um, but that person ended up getting theirs, but we had already put in a claim with USPS and they got paid out. So I just refunded the buyer. Mm -hmm. She eventually got her item, but I was like, it's fine. I got paid out. You got your item. Yeah. Good. But so yeah, I think I'm just going to try to put in a claim with USPS. Mm -hmm. I mean, at this point has not tracked for probably like 17, 18 days or something. So, yeah. um, yeah, like since the end of May, basically. Yeah. Um, so yeah. Hopefully we get paid out by the post office. I can just refund her and then I'll contact eBay to, even if we don't get paid out, obviously I'm going to refund her mm -hmm. and then just hopefully at least get the feedback off. Although I don't know if that's, if there's a point in getting the feedback off. Cause then I got a feedback about some chocos that a lady just said they were not adjusting Adjustable, so she can't yeah. fit her feet in, which I know I've been double checking all the adjustments of them because we've mentioned lately, like we had to actually redonate a couple pairs. We just could not loosen them up enough. Mm -hmm. um, so now I'm like very picky about any chocolates I pick up. So yeah. I do feel like the ones that she got were just, well, maybe they were harder. Either way, she yeah. didn't reach out. She just left a bad feedback. So that's a bummer. That one's I'm not going to be able to get it taken off unless I maybe reach out to her and say, I'll give you a refund if you change the feedback. But to me, I don't feel like I did something wrong, so I don't... Yeah. Like, it's it's mm -hmm. okay if I have a bad feedback. Mm -hmm. I've made it since, what, how long have we been reselling <laughs> on eBay? <laughs> I've made it 3,000 reviews without yeah. getting a bad feedback. It's so. okay to be a little bad. Yeah. No. <laughs> it's, it's, it's definitely, <laughs> it's, like, one of those things, like... I don't know. Do you guys, yeah, like, if you necessarily didn't do anything wrong, would you reach out to the buyer, offer yeah. them a full refund or a return just to get a feedback off, or would you just let it be there? Right. So, at this right. point, I'm like... Your, your rating is still 99.8, yeah. even with those two negative feedbacks that came in kind of close together. Mm -hmm. So I'll have to say, um, first, <laughs> check your chocos, I guess. Choco check, yeah. <laughs> Make sure that you can adjust the straps, but yeah. Uh, this pair sold on Posh for 28 with discount shipping. Mm -hmm. so not too bad, they're from the bins. Yeah, I'm... I are we gonna disown? Are we gonna I stop think doing chocos? I was swearing off chocos, and then of course I get a bad feedback on some chocos. So. It's okay. Yeah. I can't help picking them up at the bins. They're just, you know, they're like two bucks, and they usually go for twenty. At yeah. Least. So. But they could just ruin your whole life. That's true. <laughs> Surprisingly, I wasn't that disappointed. Like, right now. <laughs> like normally, I'd probably like. Be like, oh my gosh, what am I gonna do? My <laughs> life is over, but I was like, whatever. I'm more disappointed in USPS, like yeah. having one of our packages over the ocean right now, as yeah. far as we know, not telling the buyer, not telling us that it's a new estimate. Right. How do they not know an estimated delivery? 
at least like putting like daily like right it's still on the boat it doesn't whatever. even say it's on the boat it just says it arrived in san diego or something like that so so I don't yeah. Know. Oh, and did I mention like so we're maybe gonna like start excluding those locations? Like, what do you? Th- yeah. Th- what th- would you guys? What do you guys do? Do you exclude, like Hawaii and Alaska? Yeah. I mean, we typically don't, but. Right. I ha- I haven't except for on like very large items. Yeah, the large items. Just ship with like UPS because that just the price gets crazy and like yeah. there's no way to know who's gonna buy it before the before you list it. Mm-hmm. So. Like normally shoes and stuff, even to go to those places, it's only maybe like a dollar more. So I'm fine with that. Even mm-hmm. if I didn't charge the buyer enough, like I'm fine eating a dollar or two. Yeah. But it's also like we don't get a whole lot of sales. So it's right. not like we're going to lose a whole lot of business by right. it just canceling out. It's bad to like exclude people from being able to buy <laughs> something. But like these are the ones that are causing us problems. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know. We're, we're maybe going to start excluding those locations from purchasing. Yeah. I was thinking if, if we sent them priority mail, then it would be, I assume, by plane. <laughs> and so it, right. they might actually get it fast, but, like, that's expensive. So then I would have to charge the buyer for it. Yeah. But I don't do calculated shipping, and there's no way to know who's going to buy your item, so it's just too It's, tricky. like, at the point of changing it like that, then it's, like, too much of a hassle to make it worth it, too, right? Yeah. To make sure that you've got it to where it's not ground advantage, <laughs> and right. it can go to those. It's just, like, just yeah. check a box and forget about it kind of thing. <laughs> That's what my so. my inclination is, but <laughs> anyway. Last couple of sales. This Wrangler. This is like also kind of a pro snap, but like a women's one from the bins. Someone offered thirteen. I was happy to accept. And lastly, a pair of Everlane shoes. I bought these recently for eight dollars at a Goodwill, and someone accepted. I think I sent out like thirty percent off for thirty-seven dollars, so mm. not too bad. Nice. Yeah. So, Sweet. I will pack those up while you go do all your errands. Yeah, yeah. I'm an uh, errand boy. <laughs> <laughs> I do not like errands. Like, no, I don't like them either. I only like ones that are like to the thrift store. <laughs> I like that bubba dough. Speaking of, I'm probably going to go to bins in the next couple of days. So hopefully maybe our Friday video can be a bin. So I, it's hard to say because yeah. you never know what you're going to find. But That's right. Hopefully I find some stuff. <laughs> Anyway, I'm gonna show you guys a little bit, I guess, of what what I've gotten done. And you wanna say bye? You're probably not gonna be in the rest of the video. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, so I have been spending a lot of time here in the garage. As you can see, I've got the two racks that uh, I mentioned in one of the previous videos up. And what those are actually gonna be able to do is hold these bins, this style bin. Uh, and they'll be too high, too tall. And I haven't exactly figured out how many can fit on each rack, but these are four feet by eight feet times two. So 16 feet of storage space that I'll be able to do plenty. I'm probably just gonna get, I don't know, like 10 or maybe 12 to start with. There is some stuff that I'm gonna be putting up there that's not gonna be in bins, like Christmas tree and stuff like that. Uh, and this is all this is all just gonna be personal storage, which is actually going to help clear up Or continue to clear up this side of the garage and if <laughs> if you remember where it has been um, I have not really been able to walk front to back since we've moved in and Now we can we've got some stuff set on the side. I want to kind of shift this against the wall there So I'm gonna have to reconfigure a bunch of stuff over there. You may have also noticed that the oven the stove is gone and we're only down to one last large appliance the old dishwasher this one does not work it came from uh, the rental property i couldn't get the heat working it works just the heat doesn't work and i replaced the element that didn't help it so i've been trying to get rid of it for like i don't know i started at 50 bucks worked my way down it's listed for free and since i put it for free there has been zero people interested there was one guy interested and he was looking for this this piece right here because his is broken too and i guess that's a pretty common issue um so it's just a little break here i ended up uh, i ended up using some silicone to stick that back on at some point but uh but that is what i have been doing a lot of over the last week and you know, once we do get some bins, that's going to help me further getting this all figured out. And all the stuff back in that corner is actually uh, mostly, aside from that 
plotter cutter there. There, that's mostly like my lawn equipment, like a lawnmower. I got a pressure washer and stuff like that. So, yeah, once that's all taken care of, um, this is going to be what I'm going to be using the space for working on the schoolie, which. I have done a little bit. I got some of that stuff we mentioned in my last schoolie video in order to get it prepped for paint. And I've been working on it a little bit, not a whole lot. I plan on doing that this week though. I did do some trial stuff though and the stickers are coming off really easy with some tools that I got. So just need to get out there. It has been really hot lately though. <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna head to Costco. And you know, you might be wondering why I'm gonna be getting some more of these bins because we do have these are actually empty. <laughs> They're just, there's a stack of them there, a few of them there. Um, these are actually owned by the business and I didn't wanna mix and match with, I guess I didn't want it to spill over. So I'm buying some specific, specific, I'm buying specifically some more bins that we will be using for personal use only. And you know how I am <laughs> with, inventory and all that i want to have its own it's going to have its own inventory system for our personal stuff that way we can find stuff when we need to now one thing this actually did do since i've put it in is it does make it darker in here you probably can't tell on camera but you know uh it, it does make it considerably darker because the the light is blocked so i'm going to use these lights that we had from the storage unit just these LEDs, these are actually linked in the description and I'm gonna just mount them and you know, have, I don't know, four, four lights or so. And luckily there is an outlet above there for the garage door opener. So I should be able to route it there. You also might feel like it is a little bit low, but it's actually about the same height as the garage door is when it's open. So when the garage door is open, this is basically the same thing car fits in great underneath and everything is going to be nice and out of the way but still really easy to get to so all this work plus all the yard work that we've done outside with taking care of some weeds and a big part of our backyard had that weed barrier stuff which uh, has just been blowing up and the wind has been catching it pulling it up more and that stuff just doesn't work anyway. I hate, uh, I hate weed barrier. Uh, I think it's pointless. I think it's a waste of money. So uh, Kathy and uh, Connor actually were able to tear it all out. And now we just need to get some more mulch to put down. And that basically, that quarter of our yard is gonna look great. It already looks way better without that weed barrier stuff blowing around. So that's what's been going on over the last week. Um, I'm really happy with the progress again that I made on the on the garage here and then the yard and uh it's really nice to have this this was a big project that one ended up being a bigger project than i expected but hey <laughs> it seems like that's <laughs> it seems like every project these days is bigger than i expected maybe i should fix my expectations a little bit um Anyway, guys, I do appreciate you so much for tuning in to this video. Thank you so much for watching. I have to go to Costco and get some bins. And uh, I guess we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.